already. Step eight, halfway through already. So we've got our fully assembled bed. Now, uh, if you don't have the heated bed, if you've got an LT, it'll look a lot like this, but it'll just be clear plastic instead of uh, stainless steel. Um, so for this stage, uh, you will need your wires, you'll need this assembly, and you'll need your chassis. So first step, your bed. You can probably just see uh, they fit underneath the little tabs on the, the drive block for the seat axis. So once you get it in place, you should be able to get the two 25mm screws through these holes, through the rod, and into the drive block, and then screw it on. So generally I find it easier to work with it if it's up on end. And usually what I do is I try to get the screws through the holes first so that basically they're through the, uh, the support first and then I get it into the drive block after that. There's a little bit more room in that way. It might get a little bit stuck if you let it go too far and then it can't back out. Once you get it started, uh, there you go. Once you get it started, it'll just drop right down and then you just screw it straight in. So I've got both of them at least in place. Now it's just a matter of just screwing it up. Again, these are going in the plastic, so a little gentle with it. But at the same time, these are screwing into some pretty deep plastic, so uh, you do need to tighten down fairly snug uh, so that this bar doesn't go anywhere. Um, now the other thing that you probably want to do is try to help keep this aligned to the bottom of the chassis as much as you can. That will help you with the uh, leveling of the bed a little bit. Doesn't matter too much, but a little bit more alignment is good. So maybe just get it in place and then snug them down really nice and secure after that. Just going back in and giving it maybe about a quarter turn. 
beyond just snow. And that really just locks it all in place. So that should be your, your hotbed assembly. You can double check and make sure that it's moving okay. Last step for this guy is to feed the wires up through here. So basically just feed them in the bottom of this loop, through the loop, and then into this hole at the top of the loop. And do that for both connectors. Just have enough to where it can go down in that position. You don't want too much extra. So it should be just like this when you get done. Alrighty. Now, uh, one last step that is a little bit different than in the instruction manual, uh, but it's probably easier to go in and do it right now. This is actually, again, from step 11, so if you want to reference that. Now, if you have the older instruction manual, uh, this there's something that's very, very wrong in the original instruction manual. We switched up the hotbed and the hot end connecting uh, labeling. So, uh, so I'll walk you through this right now. Okay, so for this one, for the two connector, um, the, the two connector for the hotbed goes right here. So you see the, the reset switch, and then just put the, this, the thermistor connection. So it goes right next to the, uh, the reset switch there. Right. Uh, in the original instructions, it was actually labeled as being here, which is wrong. So go right here. Uh, you can actually read it on the board if you look carefully. Right here uh, is the easiest place. So that you can read hotbed, hot end, right there. Now the second one. You remember the little square pass through down in the bottom here that you, you put the power cord through. Just fit it through there. And you might need something to poke it through or you'll just have to see what you what you need to get it to go through. But work it through there and then pull it out front and then again it connects up and the closest connector to the USB port. So obviously if you have an LT, that last step of the running the wires and connecting them, you don't need to do that. Um, okay, so I think we're on to 
Stepner. 